Hey guys, welcome back to Shree Sisters. In today's video, we're gonna see about ash analysis. In yesterday's video, we saw about the introduction to biomolecules and about the chemical composition. And today's video will be kind of a continuation to it. If you haven't checked out yesterday's video, please do check it out. The link will be in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get started. Ash analysis is a very small topic actually. We'll be able to complete it within five minutes, I think. So let's get started. So what is ash analysis? Let's see with that. So ash analysis is nothing but it's like an elemental analysis. It's a type of like one method to do elemental analysis that is only called ash analysis. So how the ash analysis is done? First, like the dried biomass of an object is kept in the silica crucibles. Silica crucible is nothing but like the ceramic kind of bowl is called silica, silica crucibles. I'll show the picture of it in the next slide, so please wait. And these crucibles are placed in the muffle furnace. Muffle furnace is nothing but like an oven which isolates uh, the substance, whichever you want to keep it inside, from combustible substances like petroleum and other substances which cause uh, burning or something like that. That is only called muffle furnace, just an oven, literally an oven. And this is kept at like 450 degrees Celsius temperature. So because, because of the high temperature, all the carbon compounds will be oxidized. They'll be oxidized and they'll form into gaseous form. Gaseous form in the sense, they'll form CO or water vapor and are removed. Like we are literally removing the biomolecule part of it because in the last video, we saw that biomolecules are the carbon compounds present inside the body. So they're all removed and we can say that the remaining part is the ash. Like it doesn't contain like biomolecules. That's what it means. So the, this ash is the remaining part and it contains a calcium and magnesium, the general ash thing. And the it will also contain some inorganic compounds like the sulfate, phosphate and all. Uh, like we are, this will be a part of acid soluble fraction. It means that it's a micromolecule as you have seen in the yesterday's videos. And uh, these elemental analysis like it will give us a composition of living tissues in the form of hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, carbon, etc, etc. And this analysis will give us like an idea of what kind, the kind of, the kind of organic, uh, like an inorganic constituents present in our tissues and all the living tissues. Like in the chemistry point of view, if you see, we can see like there are aldehydes, ketones, compounds and other blah blah stuff but if you see from the biological point of view we will call them as the amino acids nucleotide bases and fatty acids these are what we call them from the botany and biology point of view that's all is about the ash analysis it's nothing but uh, like an elemental analysis of the living uh, tissue that's what is ash analysis and the process is the dried myomas is kept in silica crucibles and these uh, crucibles are kept in a muscle furnace which is nothing but an oven which oxidizes some burning substances at 450 degrees and all compounds are becoming like all carbon compounds will get converted to gas form and they will be removed the biomolecule part of it will be removed and the remaining part is called ash and they will contain organic and inorganic components and this will give us a composition of living tissue that's what is about ash analysis guys in the next video i'll be teaching about the carbohydrate structure so please uh come back to the channel and see our next video thank you so much for watching and uh, this is the silica crucible picture the this is what a silica crucible which will be placed in the muscle furnace which is nothing but the oven at 450 degrees and thank you so much for wa watching guys and in the next video we'll be seeing about carbohydrate structures and types of carbohydrates please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye